Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to add embroidered patches. There are a few ways to do this, so follow me step by step. First, to add a brand embroidery patch like this, find the patch image online. I have one ready here. Now, return to Colo and make a rectangle the size you want. I want to place the patch here. I'll add fabric by dragging and dropping heavy cotton twill. Next, open the image you want to add. and adjust the scale using Edit Texture. Now I will cut the rectangle pattern along the image outline. Select all the points together and click Convert to Curve Points, then cut it. Since the image is small, the shape might look rough. To fix this, set the particle distance to lower. Next, I'll copy the image outline as an internal line and place it on the pattern. When the yellow outline pops up, you can park it where you want by clicking. Also, change the fabric color to match the image outline color. Lastly, sew the patch together using free sewing. It looks pretty good.
To make it look more realistic, I'll set the thickness to 2. For a smoother shape, set the particle distance to 1. Let's render it and check the result. Pretty nice. Now let me show you another way to turn an image into a patch. I have this illustration image. To add it, I'll make an ellipse here. To make the shape smoother, set the particle distance to 2. I want to use the same fabric, so I'll copy one more and delete the previous image. Then, add the new image and follow the same steps we did earlier. This time, I'll create a top stitch for the circular outline, go to top stitch, and add one. Apply the top stitch to the pattern outline. You'll see a regular stitch line at first, but I'll switch the offset to zero and change the shape to bar tack. Adjust the width and you'll see the stitch line come together like this. Also, don't forget to change the color.
Using this same method, you can turn text into custom patches by converting it into an image. For individual letters, make sure the background is transparent when you save the image. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time with more great tips. Bye!